Hey friends, so welcome back. Uh, this time around we're going to take a look at dominant 7 chords. E7 chord. <laughs> So here's what I'm doing. I'm taking the index finger, putting it on the first fret of the G string. I'm putting my pinky on the third fret of the B string. And I'm just ever so slightly touching the A string and B string with my middle and ring fingers. take a look at the A7 chord. So for the A7 chord what we're going to do is we're going to do your A7 shape basically. The ring finger is going to be on the second fret of the B string. We're going to take the middle finger and just ever so slightly put it on the D string so it's muted. take a look at the D7 chord. So taking the pointer finger, putting it on the first fret of the B string, taking the middle finger, putting it on the second fret of the G string, and the ring finger, putting it on the high E string. And of course, these all have their own uses. Going back to the E7 chord, it resolves to A major. So let's go ahead and transpose that idea up. take these shapes and go all the way up the fretboard and take these ideas and do many different things with them. We'll take a up here too. See how that just resolves anywhere. So E7 goes to A. We're going to go ahead and take the A shape and that's going to result to E major. Now let's go ahead and take it up here just for fun. So see how that worked? So we can do the same thing actually with D7. So D7 is going to resolve to G major. So let's go ahead and take this D7 here. Now what's an easier way of doing this? So let's take this shape up here and let's see what we can do with it. So, this is a version of E7, and now it resolves to A major. So, we can take that idea, and go up the fretboard. So, let's try way up here. So see how those seven, those dominant seven chords, they can resolve going all the way at the fretboard with very little effort. 
So let's just go ahead and look at a few examples, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and use this example for a jazz turnaround type of chord progression. So this one is going to be an A major. So you got your A, you got your minor 6 chord, which would be F sharp minor. And now you're using the B minor 7, which would be your minor 2 7 chord. your 5-7, which will be E7, back to 1. This one's going to be in D major. We're going to use the 1, which will be D major, and now B minor. I do hope that you got a lot out of this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Until next time, take care.